Well, meanwhile, the U.S. Supreme Court took up two cases today challenging President Joe Biden's student loan, for loan forgiveness plan. The pause on student loan repayments that started in March of 2020 will be lifted 60 days after the cases are resolved. Most Buffalo's Kelly Dudzik has been following what is happening in Washington today and what's gonna, what it's going to mean, Kelly. Yes. Yeah, so, Kate, let's first start with who this would be impacting. It would forgive up to $20,000 in student loans for Pell Grant recipients, non-Pell Grant recipients recipients would get up to $10,000 in relief. There are income limits. You can only qualify if you make less than $125,000 a year or if your household income is less than $250,000. There are two court challenges to this plan that made it to the Supreme Court. One was filed by six states, the other by two students. The justices have to decide whether the states and students have the right to sue and whether the Biden administration can use the HEROES Act to wipe out the student debt. The HEROES Act was established after 9-11 and allows the U.S. Department of Education to change the terms of federal student loans if there's a national emergency. In comments made so far today, several of the conservative justices have indicated they are skeptical of Biden's plan. We take very seriously the idea of uh, separation of powers. Nearly 220,000 people in the 23rd and 26th congressional districts here in western New York are eligible for student debt relief. We'll show you the district where most of those people live at 530 in our town hall and let you know how many people were approved already if Biden's plan holds up in court. Now, if these cases aren't resolved by June 30th and the debt relief program isn't implemented by then, the U.S. Department of Education says you'll have to start repaying your student loans 60 days after that, so late summer. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.